Hi, today we're going to be looking at the Neo Coolcam uh, Z Wave Plus Siren. Uh, this is, as uh, many other things, is a Chinese product. Uh, it does have a, a remote on and off uh, range up to 100 meters outdoor and 50 meters indoor. Uh, the power is supplied by uh, two CR123 batteries uh, and it can do up to uh, 1400 uh, rings before uh, it runs out on batteries. Uh, it does have an operating temperature between 0 and 40 degrees centigrade. Uh, so if we open the box and have a look at what's inside. Right, uh, it's a very small device. It's only uh, 70 by 68 by 31 millimeters. Uh, they do supply you, as always, with a manual. Uh, inside the manual, it does tell you how to set up. Uh, what we do is we, uh, we have all the fitting instructions, we have tips for use, uh, battery usage tips, and LED color indicator on that side. Uh, we've got associations, advanced configurations, uh, and command classes, so I'm assuming that's for the programming. Uh, and the, uh, the guarantee, which is, surprise, surprise, Shenzhen Neo Electronics Company. Uh, what does it say about the warranty? Uh, probably it's going to be one year limited, I should imagine. Uh, and it's also going to be pretty useless for the price of this product. I mean, by the time you've actually sent it back, you might as well have got another one. Uh, so there's your instruction manual. You've got the siren itself, once we can get it out of the box. Uh, that's the siren, as you can see it's very, very small. Uh, it comes on the back with a fitting plate, if we can get that off. There's the fitting plate, as you can see there's two little holes there, well they would be holes, uh, there's two indicators where you could put holes, but there's also a keyhole at the back, so you can just put in a screw into the ceiling or something like that, mount this panel, and then you can connect this back. Uh, directly to it. Uh, there you can see the batteries. These are normally, uh, when they first come, you do get a bit of cardboard in there to stop it from discharging because, as I said in my other videos, the last thing you want to do is get something, you go to fire it up, and it's got flat batteries. Uh, it, this is a bayonet fixing, as you can see, so it fits on pretty straightforward. Right, and uh, you've got six LEDs on the front, uh, and in the rest of the packaging, you've got a bit of 3M sticky back thing, and you've got your uh, your screw fixings. There's uh, four screws and four raw plugs. It looks like three screws are the same size, and one is slightly smaller. <laughs> right, um, about this device, in a nutshell, uh, it's pretty useless on its own, to be fair. Uh, if you're going to use it with something like uh, like I have with smart things, you can get it to do loads of different things. Uh, my one particularly, it actually gives a little ding when I'm close to home. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it can pick up on your proximity sensors if it's uh, paired with something like smart things or home hab or, or a mosquito or anything else. So it's an indicator and that's about the lot of it uh, of course you know you can also use it in conjunction with let's say like a smoke alarm uh, so if the smoke alarm goes off downstairs you can send uh, an IFTT uh, instruction saying if the smoke alarm goes off set off the siren or you can just have it uh, as I have as well uh, just as a, an extra alarm so that when one of the motion sensors goes off and the proximity isn't there it does go off uh, Again, it's not something that's going to be uh, massively entertaining. It makes a hell of a racket, even though it's quite small. Uh, you do get 10 sirens with it. Uh, not many are actual sirens. Some of them are, are chimes and bells. But as I say, there's, there's 10 of them. Uh, I'll go through each of them. Uh, and you can hear for yourself how great and fantastic they are. Uh, the first one is Siren 1. As you can see, sounds like a police car. You've then got Siren 2. Great if you're playing battleships, I suppose. After that, you've got the chimes. You've got Chime 1. You've got 
the bell. You've got chime two. You've got bell two. You've got bell three. Yeah, knock yourself out with that. You've got bell four. Great if you're going horse riding, I suppose. William Tell Overture, lovely. You've got chime three. Yeah, that's really going to scare the burglars, isn't it? Uh, and then you've got bell five. Lovely. Uh, it does uh, It does pretty much what it says on the tin, really. It doesn't do an awful lot more than that. Uh, if we look at the, uh, the SmartThings device handler, uh, as you can see, there you go. There's all your different uh, alarms and, and various other things. I'm not going to do a, a direct screenshot. There's not really much point. Uh, but if you go to your Smart Apps, <coughs> you can see you've got your dome siren there. Uh, if I actually go up to the settings... Uh, you can choose which of your alarm sounds that you wanna you wanna do, what your uh, volume is. I've turned this down because it really does kick off a, a right old racket. How long it's gonna last for? In this minute, I put for one minute uh, duration. Whether I want your uh, little flashy LEDs going on or not. Uh, whether you want there to be delay. So you know you might want to go. Oh, I need to get in the house and turn it off before it kicks off. That's what that's for. Uh, the chime volume for when you choose one of the chimes. Same thing again. With the LEDs, same thing again. Checking interval, because this is a Z-Wave product, it's going to be uh, communicating with smart things all the time, wanting to know. So you can check uh, there how long you want it to be. I've put 12 hours. There's really not much point in any doing like one hour or something like that. Same with the battery reporting interval. Um, and enable debug logging, which is basically if you've got a problem, do you want it, do you want it to report back what the problem is? Uh, that is essentially... Uh, everything that this uh, this little device is uh, as I said it is just an indicator uh, it's one of the cheapest on the market it is electrically and design wise it's identical to the dome uh, the dome they cost a little bit more but essentially this is just mass produced in China uh, all different prices and ranges but that's basically it so uh, feel free have a look uh, as I say it, it's it's what it says on the tin it's a siren anyway I'll see you next time thank you very much bye bye